Well, kids at districts like Broken Arrow Union and now Tulsa Public Schools are out again tomorrow. Workers are getting schools ready for when classes resume. News on 6's Emory Bryan is live with some of the work that goes into clearing snow and ice from dozens of school campuses. Emory? Well, here in Tulsa, the city of Tulsa clears the roads that lead to the schools, but the school district has to take it from there. It can look like a lonely job clearing sidewalks so school can reopen, but TPS had teams of people scattered out making sure the snow and ice was cleared away. At Webster High School, this team was just getting started, clearing walkways where the buses drop off. With ice scrapers and leaf blowers, they were making a path so students can safely return to class. The bigger job was in the parking lots. At Webster's student lot, someone did a lot of donuts, but otherwise, it was covered with snow. At Clinton West Elementary, a salt truck treated the parking lot to break up snow and ice, and Bright Sun was helping too. The school district uses the same salt supply as the city, just smaller trucks that can get in and around school property. The district has a few snow plows that follow the salt trucks. One concern for the district continues to be slick spots around schools. This icy patch on West 41st formed after a water line break up the hill. The icy patch was reported to the city, which continues to treat the roads. And even before TPS canceled classes for tomorrow, they were reporting late this afternoon that they did have three sites with frozen pipes, and that is, is expected to continue to be a problem as they go into tomorrow. Reporting live, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.